I wonder if American politicians know the story of hiding their ears and stealing their belts. Their behavior just explains the profound contradiction of the story, ignoring the wisdom crystallization of two investigations by WHO experts at Wuhan Virus Research Institute, blindly politicizing the virus, claiming that they intended to trace the source of virus to China. However, a series of facts show that the source of virus is more doubtful in the United States than in China. If the United States really wants to trace the source of the virus with a scientific and open attitude, then why they can't give room for any voice of refutation and accusation? Why they continually close the country, refuse WHO experts to go to Fort Dedrick and the University of North Carolina for research? It is reported that the Chinese embassy in the United States recently wrote some articles, made contributions to some U.S. media to explain China's relevant position, and clarified the facts. But all of these articles were rejected. This can't help but make people dissatisfied. Freedom of the press has always been firmly advocated by American politicians. Don't bring ideological content into the news industry, which is the main basis of the long arm of U.S. sanctions can extend to the world. At this time, even the most rational, objective, and peaceful remarks of the Chinese representative are cruelly rejected. The essence of American interests and double standard has been exposed. Rumors stop at wise men. Facts speak louder than words. The high-level biosafety laboratory of Wuhan Virus Research Institute has been safe and stable operation. The laboratory is in strict accordance with international professional standards. The management is very standardized. The staff and postgraduates have maintained zero infection of the new crown virus. So even if President Biden of the United States made great efforts to call intelligence agencies to investigate the problem of virus traceability, no conclusive conclusion was reached within 90 days. I'm afraid it can only explain one problem. There was a problem with their research direction. Maybe some of their domestic laboratories should be the key subjects of investigation. As Ambassador Chen Shui, permanent representative in Geneva, said, the World Health Organization should follow the principles of fairness and justice. Investigate the Fort Detrick base and the University of North Carolina in the United States. We hope that the United States will actively cooperate with the investigation. Show the world the responsibility of a big country. Just like China.